Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs, and I've got a really cute card for you today. I am featuring the Little Dreamers bundle on my blog this week, so if you're looking for ideas, make sure you click the link here on YouTube and go back. I think I've got five projects total using this bundle. Today's card is a fun fold. It opens like this. And you can write your message in here. You could even attach a gift card here if you want. But I, I added the, I just stapled this on here so we'll hold it closed. Isn't he so cute? All right, let's make our um, card base first. You're going to need a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of blueberry bushel. And I have already scored it at four and a fourth and two and an eighth. And we're just gonna fold it in half like a regular card and then fold that piece back like that. This is our new Glorious Gingham Designer Series paper, and I can never decide which side I like the best. And since we used this side on the last one, let's just use the flip side on this one, just so that we can see it's cute no matter which side we decide to use. So this is a three by five and three eighths inch piece of DSP. These measurements are on a free PDF over on my blog. So make sure you go over there and print it off so you don't have to write all these down. All right, now we've got a piece of basic white that we're gonna put in here. But before we do that, let's stamp all those little stars around the edge. Um, this stamp set has lots of images, but it's got those little stars um, that you can use kind of as a background. So I'm just gonna take them in Daffodil Delight and go all the way around. And I'm gonna try to turn my stamp as I go so that my stars aren't completely identical. We don't want them to be, you know, like machine stamped. We want them to be a little bit different. So some are off the edge, some are all the way in. You could turn your paper too as you turn your stamp and just make your way all the way around. All right, so now this piece goes in here on the inside of our card. I can get it picked up. I have a new space recording video, so I'm still trying to work it out. This is my very first video <laughs> to record in this space. So forgive all the, the bumps and I don't know, we'll see. I think it'll be all right, but you know, new things are always hard. All right, so now this is a piece of Daffodil Delight, and it, this is like a little mini card, and it's gonna go in here just like this. And I like to kind of, um, you know, set it down and eyeball it to see exactly where I want it, make sure it looks like it's centered. And then I'll just take some DSP, or uh, some adhesive, this is Stamp and Seal, and we'll put that right there. So make sure I'm in the right spot and put that down, get it all wiggled in the right spot. Let's close that, see how that looks. Yep, that looks pretty good. And then we can push it down. Let's see, is it straight? Maybe not. There we go. Okay, so for the front of this, I've got a piece of our Daffodil Delight Designer Series paper. This is from our Brights stack. And we'll put that right on the front. Now on the inside, We've got another piece of basic white, and we're not gonna stamp anything on it, but we are gonna stamp a little star, shooting star, and we'll add that with a dimensional. So we can go ahead and put this right here, okay? So this is how it closes like that. All right, now that our basic card construction is set up, let's do our stamping and coloring. We are gonna use Memento Black because we are gonna color with Stampin' Blends. So I'm going to stamp that shooting star and I'm stamping these on uh, basic white. All right, and our adorable little lion. And then we've got our sentiment right here. And so we'll want to stamp that in pumpkin pie. And we'll cut that out with our matching, let's do it over here, our matching um, stylish shape die. Okay, so now for my lion, I am using mostly pumpkin pie and daffodil delight. Um, I brought over my lemon lolly. Um, the, our, our lemon lolly and daffodil delight blends are pretty similar, but I thought maybe we'll use it um, over here just to give us some variation on our shooting star. 
All right, let's start, let's start with our orange. And I always like to use the bullet end of my marker. And I'm gonna start with my light pumpkin pie. I always like to start with a light coat first. And I'm gonna go all the way around his little mane. And up here, we'll get this. Color it all in. And I'm just gonna work in small areas because these are alcohol markers, they'll dry pretty quickly. So I'm gonna do my shading first and then we'll, we'll do the tummy part. So now I'm just gonna take my dark and again with a bullet tip, I'm just gonna kind of tap, tap, tap that color in like that behind wherever his face would be covering his mane is where you would see a shadow. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of dark here to each of his little tufts of, of hair like that. Went behind his ears. And then you can take your light if you want and just kind of blend all of that together. Okay. All right, now down here, we're gonna do the same thing with his belly. And I took my dark and just went around the inside edge of his belly like that. And then just kind of pull that color towards the middle like that. Now I'm gonna take my dark and I'm gonna do this part of his tail right here. And now we'll use our Daffodil Delight and we're gonna do the same thing starting with the light. So I'll just go over him and I'm just, I'll do the bottom part of his body and then do the shading and then I'll do the top part of his body and then do the shading. You want to not wait to do your shading too long because if the ink starts to dry, then you're not gonna get that blended effect that you're wanting. All right, I want to take my dark, and again, wherever his mane would be covering, there would be a shadow, and a lot around his belly like this. Um, down here, it would be darker, and the bottom parts of his legs would be darker. And then we'll just kind of blend all that together, like that. And now for his cute little face. I don't think it matters if you start with the, the yellows first, as opposed to the oranges. I just started it that way. And, um, but I think if you wanted to start with your oranges first, that would be totally okay. Or with the yellows first, I mean. All right, now with the dark, again, a shadow, wherever anything is covering, which would be right there where his hair, and I'm gonna just do a little bit of shadow there on the bottom of his face, and then just kind of blend that up. This would be the lightest part of his face right here where it's sticking out, his snout, if you will. All right, and then I think I'll take, well, let's do, we gotta finish his tail off, and then I'll take my, just my light, color in this star right here, that and we'll do this one as well and then I'm going to take let's take three different yellows I'm going to take dark lemon lolly and then I'll take light lemon lolly and then maybe we'll do dark daffodil delight just to have a variation there on that little starburst now a starburst and a star definitely needs some sparkle. So I'm gonna take my Wink of Stella and just give it all kinds of some sparkle. Wink of Stella, it may be hard to see on the camera, but it really adds some sparkle without the mess of glitter, which we all, you know, don't like that mess. I like glitter, but don't like the glitter mess. All right, let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. And we're gonna cut out these um, shapes with our dies. And we're also gonna cut out, we need the, um, we need two clouds. All right, so we'll get those. 
And then here's our lion. Now, he's got a lot of points that you need to make sure line up. So I like to look up here, down here, and all the way around to make sure he's fit in to that die correctly. Now, if you have some post-it tape, which I thought I brought over here, you can make sure he doesn't jump because sometimes as that plate enters into the machine, it pops and your dies can jump a little bit. So when I have spent time coloring something, especially, I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna take the extra step to just tape it down and make sure that that doesn't happen. All right, and the other die that I mentioned is the uh, stylus shaped banner. So we'll put that down here like that. And I think we can get it all run through at one time. All right, there are our clouds and our banner and our starburst and our little star of the show, the little baby lion. Okay, now let's put this card together. I'm gonna come back over here and um, I'm gonna take dimensionals first for these. And I've got my dimensionals right here. And we'll put those. Put him right there. And then we're gonna put one cloud right here. And I kind of like making it hang off the edge a little bit like that. And then we'll get one and put it over on this side like that. Now on the end side, well, you know what? Look what I did. You can't, you can't uh, open that if that cloud is hanging over too much. So don't hang it over the edge too much. There we go, just a little bit. All right, and now, um, do I have many dimensionals? I think I'm gonna need many dimensionals for this one. And if you've never thought about putting things on dimensionals on the inside of your card, you totally can. It doesn't um, hinder the closing of your card at all. All right, just like that. And now let's staple this on. And let's get it in the right, perfectly the right place like that. And then I will staple it. And I like to do a couple of staples. One, two, just kind of, I like the way staples look like that. And then we'll take our, um, now this is Knight of Navy, Knight of Navy ribbon. Um, and that we're using blueberry bushel, but they are coordinating colors and they go perfectly together. I'm not, I don't think that they are exact matches, but they do coordinate together nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and use them. A yellow ribbon might look cute here as well. All right, and then just a glue dot down here like that. And there you have it, a cute little baby card for a boy or a girl. I think it would be fine either way. Um, and remember, you can put in a, if you wanna adhere a gift card right there, use some glue dots and attach that right there. All right, you guys, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, uh, hop back to my blog, get that free PDF, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.